what up, what up, fam? My name is William, aka Wilson. Welcome to the channel. I uh, talk about all things food delivery. Yesterday, I, I did a, I, I finished completing the stage one upgrade, it's a performance upgrade on the Ruckus, and now I'm just testing it out. I kind of tested it out last night, and I, right away I noticed the, an increase in the acceleration. You could actually hear it. You can hear the engine working a lot, uh, like a, a, a harder with the acceleration. I put lighter pulleys and I changed the drive phase and the variator to a better one. So now here's another test. Another test is uh, up hills. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work a, 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 a lot better because the engine's working more. Baby, these are the hills that I get stuck in right here. Not, well, I don't get stuck, but I, I start slowing down. I'm at uh, 27 miles per hour up this hill. Usually, it starts going down all the way to like 20 miles an hour. Oh yeah, it's insane. 26. Ooh, yep. Got some power up hills, baby. All right, so I, de I definitely noticed uh, a, a, an increase in takeoff speed. Uh, top speed, I was only able to go like 33 miles an hour. And I think because my variator, uh, or the dry phase, they were already very grooved from all the, all the riding. So I replaced both plates. So now the speed goes up. I think I got 37, 30 miles per hour yesterday. That's really good. And right now I'm gonna go change the tires. I'm gonna go see Carlos, hopefully he has time. If not, I'm asking if it's okay if I can leave my tires there, go do deliveries, and uh, see if he's, uh, and I'll go back whenever he's available. But we'll see. Uh, I still got the $300 a day challenge. So today's gonna be a tough one since I might have to stay here extra just because I'm taking the time to go all the way to Hollywood, get these tires swapped. Back to work. Also, my scheduling. I decided to do it because I didn't have a, a solid schedule in downtown LA for DoorDash. So I was like, you know what? Let me just take advantage of it. Go swap these tires. Anyway, well, today just gonna be a bunch of testing and making money. So thanks for joining, guys. Let's have a bit of fun today. We just learn some shit. We lay spin here. Oh, I do feel that little power. Hell yeah. It's uh, just enough power to uh, get yourself ahead on takeoffs. And also, uh, it works. It's going to be good for uphills. Like, the record struggles uphill. So now I'm going to get like a decent speed up. I mean, there's still cars going around me. I'm still going slow compared to... Uh, how powerful their cars are you know they they get up to 40 miles an hour like nothing they won't even notice it this one you feel everything Ooh, doing 35 36 nice all right let's see i'm getting this uh 35 miles per hour up this hill but went all the way down to like 33 that's really good let's see how it does up this hill I'm getting a little bit of a uh, help here. Yeah, I'm already hitting 40. 40 miles an hour. All right, going up. Going down all the way to 35. 33. 31. Wow. I thought that's the best this breakfast has ever performed on those, that, those little roller coaster hills. Ooh, it's going to be a good day today. Thing that I that I know it's gonna change because the engine sounds like it's working more. It's most likely gonna burn more gas, more fuel, more petrol. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna cal I'm gonna try to add it up. I filled it up just before I got home yesterday, and then I went. I took it on a test run. I probably did like a mile or two, just to test it out around the block. And then um, 
and then on the way over here so i guess i'm just i'm missing i'm gonna be missing like two miles two or three miles because there's also the trip and the gas to get to my house so let's see how long it takes for it to show low fuel usually when it says low fuel you got about 10 miles left this is not factual this is just my guesstimation but yeah when i when i get the low fuel thing the icon the go i go fill up uh go put gas i open it and it still looks like there's about 0.15 gallons in there like there, you can still see fuel at the bottom oh this thing off so i'm gonna keep a close eye on that we'll see how many miles per gallon we can get with this upgrade now i'm taking off now i'm doing 40 miles an hour <laughs> That's so dope. Gotta take, gotta make the most, gotta get the most out of this 49 cc. Couple minutes away from more scooter care. See if Carlos has opened up. Uh, I think he opens up at 10. I should have checked. Uh, it's 9:52, so in eight minutes. Yep, he's closed, and he's, I mean he's not at 10 yet. But I, I was gonna do some dashes and I realized that I didn't even get a schedule. Like I thought I had locked in a schedule to So my thing, my GoPro, this is the second time it freezes when I try to pause it. So I'm gonna try again. I deleted all my old stuff. Maybe because the uh, memory card's almost full. I don't know. But we'll see. I'm just waiting here. I'm chilling. I'm gonna work on uploading some videos. <clears throat> Hopefully this thing doesn't keep freezing. I'm about to reset it. So I dropped off the the wheels at at Carlos's shop. Chopped it up with him for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna come back tomorrow at three o'clock to swap the tires out. So just dropped them off there. Now I could just focus on work. I was able to get a dash from now till one o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it gonna go all the way to DTLA hopefully I get something along the way let's try to get to 100 bucks I'm gonna be out late because the goal is to get to 300 so it's gonna be a long day today might be out to like 10 11 today but gonna do it like I said 300 dollar challenge every day let's get this done every other day a 12 dollar delivery picked up at Sage going to MacArthur Park then after that I'm head to DTLA um, I'm like, I have to get used to the sound. Like when I accelerate, you can hear the engine revving. Yeah. <laughs> it revs a lot harder than uh, before. I wish I could explain what's going on in there. But uh, it makes sense that it's doing that with the lighter rollers. Uh, but it's cool a nicer takeoff let's just see how much more gas it, it uses hill test let's take it up this hill right here all right all right i definitely feel it going up with more power see i like it Getting San Francisco ready, baby. <laughs> Bell. Nine bucks, nine bucks. That's 18. 18 plus 12, that's 30 doll hairs. Both going to downtown LA. That's how you gotta do it, baby. You gotta catch up. This person has the two drinks. Just put them here just so I remember. One, two, two straws. And the other person has this orange juice. They get a straw too. All right. We got one more order, two for five bucks. St. Paul and something. I think it's on the way. I think that might be the first one. I'll only take it if it's ready. If not, I'm out. It's lunch time. I need good money out there, so I shouldn't be wasting my time on the small ones. So this lady, 
didn't answer, didn't reply to the text. So I'm gonna go do this other delivery and then come back. I already have the timer going. I need a pin as well. So I'm gonna have to wait. This is no way there's no way of contacting her. I'm just gonna do this delivery. Hopefully by the time she gets down there, she reaches out to me somehow. But let me just tell this customer I'll be outside in two minutes. Cool. I haven't gotten any contact from the other customer. I got two, I got three minutes left on the counter. On the counter, on the timer. So by the time I get there, the time is about to run out. She doesn't say anything. I'm like, she doesn't communicate with me. I'm just gonna cancel it. What other choice do I have? Throw all that food away. Damn, boy, I gonna fly down this thing, this hill. So I hit 40 miles an hour. Can't even look at you at the red light. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. That problem is solved, son. Well, compared to what I'm used to, going up super slope hills to like doing 25 miles an hour up a steep hill, awesome. It started all the way from a big, all the way from the bottom of Big So That's the really steep one. That was doing up like 20 miles, 18 to 20 miles an hour up that steep one, the long one. Then if I, now that I got a little more speed, then uh, once I got to this one, I was already doing 25 miles an hour, so awesome up speed. On the way for 10 bucks. Sandwiches, baby. Puts me at 57. I was almost not going to take it because I already passed this block. But I'm like, you know what? It's only going to take me like two, three minutes top. So I went back. And it's literally on the way, like I think it's... It's on the same route that I'm already taking. And this, this street like sucks though. It takes forever. How does it sound for you guys? Because the, the ruckus accelerates, uh, it revs a whole lot faster when I take off now. I'm going it's, it, it does it does seem kind of uh, crazy because I'm going from MacArthur Park to Echo Park to Silver Lake three different cities but I don't know if I can consider them cities more like towns inner cities 
What else? This guy jumping the gate. This one down. Usually, when the food delivery is uh, someone's getting it for someone else, um, well, the communication is is basically done through the middleman. The person who got the food is the middleman. And like for example, this one, someone order it by the name of X, whatever, and then uh, I called. And she's like, oh yeah, he's coming down already. Usually what that implies is Ryan is not coming down and she's about to call him to let him know that the food's downstairs. But usually what happens is they call him, they don't answer, or they're busy or whatever. All that thing takes a lot of time. So I waited like two minutes, no one came out. There was a load of people that came out the elevator, nothing. So I just thought there was a security. And I text her, text her a picture. Good thing with DoorDash, you can send pictures through text. Uber Eats, you can't do that. I don't know why, they're afraid of you sending news or something. Or receiving them, shit. <laughs> the first time ever where I'm not always hitting full throttle on the ruckus. Like I'm like, oh, all right, I'm not gonna rev it too much because uh, I'm going, I'm going at the speed I need to be, you know. Usually I'm just grabbing this thing all the way up. Well, maybe because I'm not used to it. Who knows? But I catch myself kind of revving it a little bit. And whenever I need to go faster, I rev it some more. On the ruckus, it's just your full speed all the time. <laughs> That's kind of how it works with the ruckus. We're just 100% all the way trying to hit the hit the fastest it could. We're not look not hitting it all the way. I could and yeah, pretty fun. Then did I make the right turn? Okay. Actually, you can still get to it through here. It's just longer. All right, I'm done. Let's go. Take a detour. I'm canceling the two for each deliveries just to uh, take on a $14 delivery with uh, DoorDash. These two, the Uber Eats that I canceled were kind of going towards Hollywood, but this DoorDash one is, was going to downtown LA. That's where I have my dad. So it just made sense if I took a $2 loss, but I uh, end up in downtown LA where I'm be able to immediately pick up more deliveries. So, so you gotta strategize. You're gonna get a contract violation. So I'm late. I was waiting for the other delivery, but it's all good. I haven't had a contract violation in months. So I could take one. No big. Right now I'm gonna pick up uh, the honey. And I also got another one for yeah, I forgot how much it was another like nine bucks. I, put, it was, I was at 71, then another. I forgot, god damn it. But I'm close to 100 bucks, basically. Right, let's do a little speed test, the tunnel. See how fast we can go. GPS is fucked up. <laughs> I'm in the tunnel. Duh. All right, I'm hitting 40. Yeah, I'm hitting past. 
last party. Woo! I'm like, wait, why isn't the GPS working? Because I'm in the tunnel. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Ooh, that was fucking fun. I forgot to throw out those uh, Taco Bell burritos that I canceled. And uh, they ended up getting all, I guess, some liquid leaked out of those burritos. I'm like, should I throw it away? Should I eat it? I'm like, no, nah, I'm gonna throw it away. I gotta clean my dividers real quick. Good thing I always carry a rag to clean it up. Contract violation. You were late to the store by 16 minutes. Blah, 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 blah. Hell yeah. I was able to lock in a ship to midnight in downtown LA. So that happens uh, when there ain't nothing available. Sometimes a ship, a dash, might just open up. And I locked it in, babe. So I'm good till midnight. Uh, I got one for nine bucks right now from Dune. It's the first one I picked up since I uh, got that dash. So that's very, that's good news. That means I got potentially to be out here till midnight to hit the goal. But I don't think I'll take that long. So school's back in session. Damn, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot people go to school. I forgot kids go to school. It's been a minute since this pandemic, everybody was indoors. Well, now what that means is around this time, it's gotta be careful with cars and children. Kids, cause they just walk in the street without looking. And cars, because they turn in and turn out into school areas. And they could not be looking, so little risk hazard there you gotta be careful around school zones so now i gotta pay attention more to school zone uh traffic signs that say slow down or you know drops the the speed limit uh goes down and those areas are zones where you gotta be a little extra careful right. nothing major it's the low fuel icon i just uh, saw it for the first time so I had to check how many miles I'm in. I'm at 77.7 uh, .7 miles. So then plus the miles that I might have burned last night, I'm gonna say 80. So until my run goes out, runs out, it's probably gonna be to like 80 miles. This is all just, no, no, no. no I'm sorry, to 90. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna say I'm losing about 10 to 15 miles per gallon. So now it's gonna cost me, now I'm gonna have to fill up every 80 to 90 miles instead of every 100 to 110. I don't know if that makes sense. Oh shit, I'm building. Now is that worth it for going a little bit faster? A uh, little faster acceleration. Hmm. I think so. It's like ba it's like basically like a couple dollars more per day, which is not a bad idea, not a bad uh, thing. But I gotta think about that a little more. I like it. I like. I noticed that my behavior has been kind of changing a little, like the way I cut through traffic, and it's because I can accelerate faster, so I can pull off different maneuvers. I kind of like it, uh, but more on that in a bit. Let me just drop this off. Squad here on the right, enjoying the great weather, riding PCs. What they got? They got hybrids, robots. I where they're going. All right, I picked up uh, two deliveries here. I had a uh, sticky rice. Simply Salad I was kind of just listening to some to some podcasts real quick getting a little info in 
but uh, past the $200 mark, and I still got like uh, three hours to go. Well, till I hit go, yeah, I'd say about another three hours, about 10 o'clock. But we'll see. They have big group. One of them passed me. Cycling squad here. Yeah, I miss riding my bike. Group rides too, it wasn't fun. Alright, let's get it. Three more hours, baby. You're ending me right now. Check it out. De todos que modos, ¿por qué me pega, man? Que me bajó la vaina. Disculpame, Ya, yeah, pero me pudo matar, man. No, hijo, Velocidad no más a... rápido me pudo matar. No, hijo, ¿cómo te voy a matar? Vengo de la iglesia. No, no importa, Disculpa, man. Mío. No importa, man. ¿Por qué? No, no se fijó y no paró a tiempo, me pegó. Pero, ¿dónde está el... Yo no sé, no, yo no sé qué pudo pasar. Ahí, se, se me pudo doblar algo aquí, se me no, pudo. Eh, eso no lo puedo ver después. Deme su información. Chequea, chequea bien eso ahí. Deme su información, porque la verdad yo no sé si algo está dañado hasta que la use. Y luego que luego voy a tener que pagar yo de mis, de mis daños que me pegó usted. Quémonos allá si querés entonces. Bueno, ya los tengo grabados todos, o no, no sé, no, no le vaya a correr. ¿Cómo voy a correr? Bueno, más le estoy diciendo. Yo aquí, ¿Qué quieres que te diga? Bueno, nomás si quiere ir sin que sin cambiar la información. Dame, so. tu, dame tu teléfono. Deme el suyo. En el parking lot. This motherfucker straight just rear-ended me. I gotta check my rug and see if it's alright. Sí, que pero no que Brady lo hubiera metido, mira que corre bien y todo. La gente como cree que un Mercedes, me han pegado antes y no, tengo dinero. no, no importa, pero me han pegado y yo digo que está bien, luego después algo se me quiebra porque está se dañó un poco, pero no se quebró completamente. Pero que 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 lo dañado que ves ahí, que está bien todo. Pero el problema que le estoy diciendo es que uno no sabe si se dañó algo no, hijo, inmediatamente. Sea, Tengo cae. moto, man, en muchas cosas se puede pasar mal. Comida? Y es un costo o algo que, que me, después yo tengo que pagar. No, hijo, pero que vas a pagar. Papá? Si es una moto que no tiene nada, mirá, ni el stop, nada le pasó. Más bien se me, se me le bajó bajo la, 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 esa cosa abajo. Trabajo en toda esta área. Está bien, me tengo buena noche. Ok, buena noche. Spanish, I was telling him that I should get a Zenfo because <clears throat> you never know if something got fucked. Like, it looks like he was telling me, like, nothing's wrong with your ruckus. I'm like, bro, like, the thing is that sometimes these damages, like, for example, something could have cracked. And, uh, I mean, it wouldn't fully break until later on I'm riding and the fucking tire falls out. <laughs> That's happened before with my bike. This Prius kind of hit my uh, brake. And when it happened, I was like, all right, whatever, it's cool. You can go, it's, it doesn't matter, like, I don't care. Then my, uh, then some, what was it? My derailleur, I think, broke. 
and I had to pay I had to buy a new one and you know stuff like that but then I thought about it I'm like man I guess this little fucking ruckus is a tank it's been through uh been through much worse I was like yeah man I ain't got time for this trying to find me a good video to watch on YouTube but then that happened god damn it fucking old man his license plate had the little wheelchair thing too I'm like god damn it <laughs> first it was an Asian lady that hit my ass uh, the other one was a girl the, the girl, white girl in the Prius that wasn't even looking and then this old man right here oh god damn it I feel bad now <laughs> oh well I was like man just have a good night I'm out of here like I'm almost at my goal. I'm gonna hit my goal and go home. Eat some fucking tacos. 18 bucks to hit my goal. So I got two with two front DoorDash right now for 15. Woo! So after this, I just need three more doll hairs, and I'm through. I'm through today. Listen to stand-up comedy. Change up my like pick up my mood a little bit because that little hit bummed me out. It just reminds me how in a second someone can just smash into you and that's it. You'll be either killed or crippled or seriously injured. And then my ruckus too, that shit could be towed, totaled, you know. All these things can go wrong. I try not to think about it. But it's situations like this that reminds me that these things can happen. And yeah, it's kind of depressing. Like God damn it. So vulnerable out here. I'm wondering what happened though. He didn't see me or what? He probably didn't see me and I got my my vest on where this thing is reflective as fuck. Should have asked him what happened. You didn't see me? <laughs> Alright, let's go to DoorDash. I mean let's go to Door Dash Mark. Motherfucking go, hell yeah. So 139 right now, 121, and then I think I did like 42 earlier, which puts me at 304. Let me just double check that. Uh, all right, 42 bucks earlier and 138 right now. So how much is that? It's 304 about more and then some more tips should come in on Uber Eats. So booyah hit my goal. Today is Wednesday. So day two, 300 day challenge. 300 a day challenge. I put in some miles today. I got 115 miles right now. I'm ready to go home and uh, I gotta make some kits. B Kits 92. I'll probably make a few. Post them online. Anyone that needs them. I know some people are hitting me up. I'm actually making them tonight just because someone requested. Someone really needs it. So I'm like, it's always easy for me to make a few sets uh, instead of just one. So I probably put some up on inventory. I don't know. Crank the website. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all. Uh, survived a, 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 a weird a weird hit at a red light glad for that live to hustle another day alright guys catch you guys later peace